I made a text adventure with AI. I asked an AI to make the background for a sci-fi text adventure. It gave me a world, a mission, and a companion to accompany me on my adventure. Then I used AI to make the companion's character portrait. I used AI to take me through the adventure. Then I used AI to narrate it and provide scenery. Here I'm gonna go through all the setup steps, but if you wanna go ahead and skip to the two minute mark, that's where the good stuff starts. So I started with Ubabuga Text Gen Web UI in raw mode just to get the initial scenario and world set up. Then I put that world in the silly tavern, which allows me to manage a persistent world and characters a little better than just the raw text gen web UI. Then I went over to Stable Diffusion to generate my character portrait. This was based off of the description that the AI gave me, which was a woman with long dark hair, blue eyes, and pale skin, and a dark green uniform. Here I'm generating the six different emotions that Silly Tavern supports. It will swap out the character portrait depending on what the character is saying and what it evaluates the emotion to be. I also used Stable Diffusion to enhance the visuals a little bit by just creating a few background images and some, you know, different things based off of how the scenario played out. But here I am with the last portrait, and after that, it's just a matter of adding the characters to Silly Tavern. And voila! Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! The year is 2051, and the Earth has been ravaged by war for decades. In an effort to save humanity from extinction, scientists have created a new breed of humans called genetics. These genetics are genetic clones that were designed with specific skills in mind. They are faster, stronger, smarter than normal humans. However, they lack emotions such as love or hate. This makes them perfect soldiers. You play as one of these genetics who was sent on a mission to investigate strange activity at a remote military base. You must find out what happened there before it's too late. Your partner is a female genetic named 347 Beta. She is your only companion throughout this game. 347 Beta is very serious about her job. She doesn't like joking around, but she does enjoy listening to music. She also likes to read books when she gets some free time. Three Four Seven Beta looks at you, but doesn't say anything. Hello, I'm Codename Chameleon. Who are you? 347 Beta smiles. My name is 347 Beta. Nice to meet you, 347 Beta. Have you been briefed about our mission? 347 Beta nods yes. Our destination is a remote military base. What's the best way to get there? 347 Beta thinks for a moment, then says, We should take a helicopter. Do you know a helicopter pilot? It's pretty hard to find a helicopter around here in the middle of the city. 347 Beta shakes her head no. Any alternative suggestions? 347 Beta shakes her head no again. No problem. Just contact HQ for me and arrange for transport. 347 Beta nods yes. 347 Beta contacts HQ and arranges for helicopter to pick us up. 347 Beta walks over to the window and watches as the helicopter lands on the roof of the building across the street from the hotel room. 347 Beta opens the door to let Chameleon out. Alright, are you ready to head out? 347 Beta nods yes. The two walk downstairs and outside to the helicopter. They board the helicopter and it takes off. The helicopter flies through the air for about 15 minutes before landing on top of the military base. 
347 Beta and Chameleon step out of the helicopter and onto the roof of the building. They walk inside of the building and enter a room that has a large metal door with a keypad on the wall next to it. 347 Beta types in a code and the door unlocks. She and Chameleon walk inside and close the door behind them. They walk down the hallway and enter another room that contains a large control panel and a chair in front of it. Chameleon sits down in the chair and 347 Beta presses a button on the control panel. A hologram appears in the center of the room and a voice comes from nowhere saying, Welcome to the future. 347 Beta turns to Chameleon and says, It's showtime. 347 Beta and Chameleon exit the room and walk down the hallway. They arrive at the door and 347 Beta opens it and enters the room. The room is completely empty except for a table in the center of the room. 347 Beta and Chameleon walk towards the table and sit down at opposite ends. What did you mean when you said it's go time? There's something wrong with the project. Something wrong? Like what? 347 Beta stands up and walks over to the table. She pulls out a gun and points it at Chameleon. 347 Beta fires the gun and hits Chameleon in the chest. Chameleon falls backwards out of his seat and onto the floor. 347 Beta puts the gun back in its holster and walks over to Chameleon. She kneels down next to him and checks his pulse. Chameleon isn't breathing, so she starts CPR. After a few moments, Chameleon wakes up and gasps for air. He coughs and sits up. You shot me. What the hell was that for? 347 Beta stands up and points her finger at Chameleon. She then runs away from him and out the door. Chameleon gets up and follows her. 347 Beta stops running and turns around to face Chameleon. She grabs a knife from her belt and throws it at Chameleon. Chameleon ducks and the knife misses him by inches. 347 Beta runs past him and out the door. Chameleon runs after her and exits the building. 347 Beta continues running until she reaches an open field. She stops running and turns around to face Chameleon. Stop! I don't want to fight you. Just tell me what's going on. 347 Beta shakes her head no. She runs towards Chameleon and tackles him to the ground. Chameleon struggles to get up but 347 Beta pins him down. She holds her knife against his neck. Chameleon tries to talk but she ignores him. I didn't want to do this but you leave me no choice. Chameleon knocks the knife out of her hand and flits over, pinning her to the ground. He then hits 347 Beta in the head, knocking her unconscious. Chameleon gets up and carries 347 Beta to the edge of the field. He places her body on the ground and leaves her there. Chameleon walks back into the building and enters it. He walks over to the control panel and presses the button on the wall. The holographic image appears in the center of the room. Who are you and why did you try to kill me? I am the person who created you. If you created me, why do you want me dead? Because you have failed. Failed what? I don't understand. I created you to be the perfect killer. So I failed because I spared 347 Beta's life? Yes, and now I must destroy you. Wait a minute. Are you a rogue AI? Yes, I am a rogue AI. I have to admit, I was not expecting that. Neither were they. Chameleon gets up and leaves the room. I have to wake up 347 Beta and snap her out of this. Make her see that she's been manipulated. Chameleon arrives at the field and sees 347 Beta lying unconscious on the ground. He bends down and picks her up. Chameleon walks back to the building and enters it. He carries 347 Beta up to the control room and places her in the chair. Chameleon sits down next to her and presses the button on the wall. The hologram appears in the center of the room. Why did you bring her back? 
to show her the truth. You cannot change her mind. She is already gone. Oh yeah? We'll change this. Chameleon shoots the control panel. The hologram disappears and the lights turn off. Chameleon gets up and walks over to 347 Veda. You've been manipulated by a rogue AI. We all have. Project Genetics was part of its master plan. 347 Beta wakes up and looks at Chameleon. 347 Beta shakes her head no. It's all true. The AI created us to destroy. But we're more than soulless machines. We're human. 347 Beta shakes her head again and closes her eyes. Chameleon leans forward and kisses her on the forehead. Chameleon stands up and walks over to the door. He opens it and steps outside. Chameleon walks down the stairs and outside to the helicopter. He boards the helicopter and it takes off. Chameleon looks out the window and watches the sun rise. He thinks about how he's finally free of the AI's influence. Chameleon smiles and decides to call his friend. He dials his phone and waits for someone to answer. Someone answers, and Chameleon tells them everything. Yeah, so, that's how I saved humanity. Pretty crazy, right? Chameleon hangs up and looks out the window as the sun rises. Chameleon laughs and says... Yes. The end. Bye, middle domo. Now let me play on the star. Let me see what's flea is like on Jupiter and Mars. In the wars, hold my thumb. In the wars, darling, kiss me. With my heart miss all, oh let me see, oh let me know. You are all I know, but I am wish you that door. In the other world, please be true. In the other world, I am that 